I don't think we should have copyright anymore. I think it's stupid. Uh, the more and more I think about it, the more I think it just is just not worth anybody's time. So before I hop into that, let me just quick plug. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you like the video, please like it. If you dislike the video, please dislike it. Uh, but what I really would ask for is comment uh, some feedback down below about what you didn't like about the video so that I can improve this video going forward so I can make the best videos possible for viewers like you because I'm here ultimately to serve the viewer. Please, thank you. Let's just hop right into it. So what I mean by copyright, I don't think we should, I don't think it should be a thing anymore. Uh, I grapple with the idea a lot and I'm still technically on the fence about it. It comes up again because specifically of a YouTuber named Lud Ludwig. I'm sure a lot of people know Ludwig is. He's a very famous Twitch streamer. And I saw that he and uh, Asmongold, other streamers like Asmongold are reacting to this. And he made a video about ChatGPT scaring you being scary being big spooky big scary spooky um because essentially in the video he starts off by saying that he doesn't believe in the ai hype train but he thinks it's fundamentally going to change all of like the universe or something like that and he then uh, segues from there to go into saying that uh, ChatGPT, OpenAI is bad because they train AI on copyrighted material, uh, specifically transcripts from the YouTubes, the YouTubes, his YouTubes. He says that ChatGPT is specifically stealing from him. Uh, he wants to bring that up and he's very upset about that. But then again, he moves on to the next part of the video and he says that ChatGPT 4.0 is really amazing. It's amazing, even though it's a horrible thing because it stole from everybody. But it's amazing because it can translate text really quickly, uh, teach kids about triangles, and it sounds like it's really hot and sexy and it'll hit on you. Then he takes that, segues into likeness and copyright and how legislation isn't going to be able to keep up with AI because it's... Um, it's um, it's evolving way too fast for the old people at the white or the uh, Congress buildings to come up with new laws to stop it in its tracks to protect all the people from the copyrighted material from being uh, stolen, you know, because it scrubbed all the Internet and all the data and blah, 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 blah. So then Scarlett Johansson is getting into a lawsuit with OpenAI because Scarlett Johansson was asked by Sam and Sam tweeted something saying her, which uh, was relevant to a movie with Scarlett Johansson and the, the Joker, what, I forget his name, um, not Heath Ledger, but the new one, the newer guy or something like that. And in that movie, Scarlett Johansson is the AI who goes on dates with the Joker or whatever. And then Scarlett Johansson, you know, all this is very, very much so um, coincidental, but he is to go as as far to say that it is enough evidence to condemn OpenAI of stealing Scarlett Johansson's voice. If not stealing, uh, getting somebody to sound like her on purpose, which uh, again, he applies in the video that that's uh, morally wrong because he, he, they, they want Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson says no. So like, it's just as believable on one hand that they did find somebody who is, who sounds eerily similar to Scarlett Johansson just to capitalize on the hype. But I digress. That is not important. I'm just going off on a random tangent. The reason why that is important is because Ludwig is wondering about likeness because of uh, SpongeBob text-to-speech uh, for his Twitch. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on there. A lot of things going on. But what that brings me to, the reason I'm going to comment on, what I'm going to talk about is why I think copyright is, is stupid. I don't like copyright anymore. I think the more I think about it, you know, we were raised on copyright's good. It's for creative people. It's for artists to get paid for their work, to protect authors from their work being stolen, from thieves, uh, intellectual property. It's, it's to incentivize people to create, but I, I thought I, you know, the more I think about it, and this is still more of a feelings argument, I haven't really hashed it out. I haven't really done the digging, searched the data, but I think the standard, the basic premises of the arguments that I have come up with are good enough for me to just like start to lean a lot more that copyright shouldn't be a thing. So the first argument I would say is... Copyright can only really be utilized uh, by people with a lot of money. So huge corporations like Disney are the only entities that seem to be able to uh, really capitalize on copyright because their material, if, they, if someone steals Disney's material, they're coming at you with the full extent of the law and they are ready to take you down, down and put you into fine jail so you can never make money again. Me, uh, uh, for instance, if I made this YouTube video and a bunch of like uh, AI botters or, you know, whatever, some botters came by and just like stole my content, stole my voice to create a likeness of my voice and then whatever, or took my content and clipped it up and made whatever they wanted, I would 
not really have the time or resources to really go after them. So therefore, copyright on paper sounds like it's really helping me, but again, it's only helping those with money, which is the top 1%, more or less. You know, I mean, there's there's nuances there, obviously, so just take that with a grain of salt, but that is one of the main basic arguments why I don't like copyright. Now, moving on, the first thing I started thinking about copyright, which I didn't really like it, is that I don't feel intellectual property is real. What I mean by that is that um, I don't feel that Isaac Newton uh, discovering gravity and forming the formulas or whatever, presenting that means that it is his intellectual property. Like, yes, in history, he was the first to discover and that will always be his, at least as long as our modern history, history exists. But fundamentally, it was there to begin with, and he doesn't necessarily own that. So to that's not a perfect comparison, but to tie that to the rest of it, who owns melodies? Who own, you know, if you string notes together to make a pattern, or if I write words on a paper um, to make a story, a story or whatever, it's all derivative of something. And even the people who have, if you broke it down into the most basic reduction, like reductionist forms of just like sounds, letters, numbers, etc. It's not those people who discovered those things or put those things together. They don't own them. They're just organizing something that is already there into a different shape. And now that may be something, you know, like I said, with Sir Isaac Newton or whatever. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's not you. Know. Isaac Newton, um, him discovering the, the gravitational math or the math behind gravity or whatever, that will always be his legacy, but he doesn't get any royalties for that. We don't pay Isaac Newton for every, ever, all the all the science derived from his uh, uh, monetarily. Socially, we we pay him to like you know every time we like ex uh, expand on gravity, the gravity science, you know all that all that science and stuff like that. Like we we pay him homage, even though we really don't. I mean, you learn it, but I mean you don't really unless you're a fan of it. You're not really paying him. But anyway, yeah, you know like socially we're paying him. But we're not paying him monetarily. So then why do we get to why are we paying people for songs and stuff like that? Why do they get rights and they get to um, make money off what other people's money they make? You know, you made the thing, you get, you know, credit credit for it, and you'll always have that credit uh if you're able to establish that you did that thing. But I mean, Harry Potter is a fantastic book and stuff like that, but ultimately it breaks down to like key basic elements that like a lot of other people could could write about it could be broken up into an infinite number of stories it's just and it borrows from so many other things how how is it like that's so you, i mean rambling aside do you kind of see where i'm coming from here to really just tie that up and just to move on the main reason why copyright i think is um needs to go ultimately just needs to go and i think a lot of people should really think about this and really maybe if i'm wrong i'm wrong call me out, do whatever, let's have the conversation. But copyright really needs to go because it's standing in the way of progress. I mean, music aside, all that fun stuff is one thing. But when it comes to something as revolutionary as ChatGPT, and that's just like an early iteration of what this this technology could become, if we're going to start here uh, nickel and diming because they scrub the internet for publicly available data, if you really cared about the copyright, you would have protected the data and you would have, you would have, um, it's hard for me to believe that you, you wouldn't have like put it behind a paywall so that you'd be getting money for it. Or like, I don't know, like, cause, cause if we take copyright further, like if chat GPT isn't allowed to be trained, an entity isn't allowed to learn machines learning because our brains are machines too. And they learn, couldn't you then argue that like our memories are copyright violations because we are recording in our brains material that doesn't belong to us. So then it should be, you know, if we quote something like, um, I remember before the internet, everybody used to quote South Park episodes. They used to qu quote uh, Step Brothers nonstop. All that technically would be a copyright violation. So then what I'm saying about copyright is that if it's going to get in the way of AI being able to be trained, I really don't think that it's worth our time because, yeah, open AI is going to create some, is going to make a lot of money. They've already made a lot of money. And the people who create AI products are going to make a lot of money. But on the computer consumer side of things, what I'm able to run and manage about five, or I'm, I'm running and managing five YouTube channels right now without hiring a team because of what AI has already offered me, like in terms of like this background removal. Um, chat GPT helping me like write and, you know, create images or, you know, research things. And I can't like, it's, it's, it's got all the internet data on it already for it to just pull data from and help me like 
manage these channels and create content while working a full-time job, working 46 hours, 46 to 64 hours a week. That, and that's just, I'm just one piece of the puzzle, man. There's a lot of people out there a lot more industrious than I, I am, and they'll take AI and run with it and create these insanely efficient businesses, which will drive the cost of goods down. Because with scale comes, you know, lower cost. And in this society, if you could beat out the Walmart, you're going to have a cheaper Walmart. And if you could make a cheaper Walmart with, or cheaper Amazon with the same quality of goods, that's only good for, you know, the average person. So if copyright's going to get in the way of driving the cost of everything down, that's only ultimately hurting poor people to begin with. I'm not trying to signal here, but I think that we need to be progressing humanity to bring the bottom up. Isn't that like what uh, the liberals and even the conservative, everybody, all these political parties are just like, they speak about being the voice of some poor person somewhere. But then when it comes down to stuff like this, they just want to, you know, they want to hold their bags. Like Ludwig, I I, I I, I don't want to make that judgment with him personally. I don't know a lot of his content. I'm only speaking about it because this popped up. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, it, it might be time for copyright to go. You know, and, you know, feel free to disagree with me. Feel free to debate me down in the comments. Give me a perspective that I don't really know. But I just, I'm pretty passionate about this because I am hopeful for AI and its ability to automate and bring more of the third world into the first world and to bring the, the, the poor people in our country up, you know what I mean? To give more opportunity, more abilities to create wealth for average people. And just the little ways that I've used AI, uh, I, I can see infinite potential out of it just in its form right now. And copyright stands with these lawsuits and stuff like that to get in the way of that. And that's ultimately what I'm complaining about here. So with that being said, let me wrap this up. Thank you for watching. For anybody who's watched, uh, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'd, I'd love some feedback down below. Subscribe. Have a good day. Peace out.